mom and dad keep the memory of their son alive by helping others. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Bergen. Trent DeGiro was shot to death two decades ago, but his parents have turned that tragedy into something good for young students in Oldham County. WLKY's Corey Pippen is live tonight at the Heart Scuffle Farm. Steve, this event raises money for scholarships, all in the name of Trent DeGiro. For his family and friends, it's as important as ever. For many here, it's a beautiful day out in country, complete with polo, live music, and full of tailgating and fun with family and friends. For those who knew Trent DeGiro, that and raising money for a great cause is exactly what it's all about. It's nice to see some promise come from tragedy. And we've been able to help all these young folks continue their lives and better their lives. And, uh, you know, we like to say we're making a difference in Oldham County. This is the third annual polo event and the 18th annual fundraiser overall for the Trent DeGiro Foundation. Mike DeGiro says it's the culmination of efforts started the very night his son died. Trent was shot to death on the front porch of his Lexington home on July 17, 1994. The UK football player was celebrating his 21st birthday. Late that night, a friend of mine called and said, Hey, is it okay if we start a scholarship? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever, you know. And it was about 11 o'clock at night. She called about four people and said, wake up, we got work to do. Six years later, Shane Raglan was arrested for the crime and eventually pleaded guilty to second-degree manslaughter. During that time, Trent's family and lifelong friends have been keeping Trent's memory alive with the foundation and fundraisers like these. They know that when Trent was your friend, Trent was your friend. And they have been very good friends to us. Uh, these kids, I say kids, these young adults now, have gotten us through the last 20 years. Uh, without them, I don't know where we'd be. Money from the fundraisers provides scholarships for a graduating senior at each of the three Oldham County schools. It's something Mike DeGiro says his son would be proud of. I think he might be surprised how big it's gotten and how long it's been going on. He, uh, I think he would, uh, I think he'd think it was pretty cool. That's right. Now I'm told the foundation has actually provided more than 50 uh, scholarships valued at more than $100,000. The event ends in less than an hour. Corey Pippen, WLKY News.